taking an in-depth look at our communities on the rise. We will specifically dive into rapid growth and how it's impacting property taxes across Middle Tennessee. And these property tax changes, of course, impact thousands of people, especially in counties surrounding Nashville. So we're working hard to answer all your questions. We begin in Williamson County, a community that's no stranger to rapid growth, Vicki. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael spoke with the county mayor about a vote next week that could mean higher taxes for some. In just a few days, Williamson County commissioners will vote on a new budget. If passed, that means taxpayers will see a 13 cent increase on their property taxes. Just like um, everything that we do, uh, whether it's purchasing groceries or a car or homes, uh, things are going up and it's the same for us here. More growth means the need for more money. It's something Williamson County is asking taxpayers to help with. You have to realize we had about 32% total increase in values in Williamson County since, since, since we have last done the appraisals. As part of a proposed $650 million budget, commissioners will vote to raise the county's certified tax rate from $1.75 to $1.88, an increase of about 13 cents. Three pennies of that, we'll get into it, actually goes directly to our schools for their operational side of the things. Uh, the, the other part of it is to go for county general, paying for the things that we've got to have as we look down the road over the next few years. That includes things like infrastructure and employee salaries. The money will also help with future projects like a new jail and juvenile center. It's to keep up with the growth that we're continually having here in Williamson County. We, aver we have averaged over the last 10 years approximately 5,000 people coming into our county on an annual basis. County Mayor Rogers Anderson knows the tax hike won't be an easy sell, but believes it's the only way to meet the need of the growing community. But if we're going to continue to function and have those quality of life issues that people have learned to expect and demand in our county, this is what it's going to take. In Franklin, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. If approved, the extra money will be divided into several different government funds, including schools, solid waste and sanitation, and the county's general fund.